You should know something about me. I have fears. My fears consist of two things. Spinnings and moths. Okay. Spiders and moths. <laughs> Witches of the East come to strike penance on me for all those things I did. Well, I would like to know what the crap I did. I did something to shake up this nest. I don't know what I did. You know, moths. I know they're not the most deadliest thing out there. <laughs> I know! But they are always inappropriately placed outside by every lighting fixture. And when I walk by, there is that always that small fear that one's gonna flutter in my face, land, and start cocooning things. Just the thought ripples my harmonious bells. They are no longer harmonious. What happened to my harmonious bells? I don't know. I don't know. A moth. A moth took him. I was given the privilege of encountering both of my fears this summer. <laughs> well, you just let the smiles glow on me. I guess, you know, I guess the summer incubates the fears into reality. With all that being said, I have a story for you. One summer night, I, w I was walking up my stairs to my apartment. Outside my door, there's a lamp. And this freaking lamp provides the mood for this moth dance party that happens every freaking night. All night long. What a ruckusy bunch of folk. Then I try to unlock the door. And after about five minutes of trying to unlock it with my thoughts, I realized, hey, I should probably use my keys. So I try to unlock the door with the keys. Then, I feel a yawn come on. I just let it out. I, I the lion's roar of a yawn. Just While I was yawning, I felt a presence near me. Then, I felt a soft landing. Like a wet Cheeto dropping on my palate. At this point, I realized all my darkest fears had materialized and then festered into something even darker. Apparently, a moth had flown into my mouth and landed in my mouth in mid-yawn. Out of all the things to happen, that happens to me. Tins chills down my spine, thinking of that light leech investigating my realm with its beady little eyes. I did not give it passage into my realm. It's wafer thin propulsion system flapping away the powdered residue it leaves behind. This tiny imp when lands leaves behind a powdered residue. Residue. What is that? It's not sweet and low. It's probably some sort of like organic anthrax. And that doesn't make it any healthier. I could leave my mouth open, hoping the moth flaps away. But that leaves me at risk for more moths to fly into my realm. Or I could entrap the moth in my mouth. Because that, I mean, because that totally puts you at risk for it to fly deeper down into your realm. I knew it wouldn't do anything. But wither and die once it hits my dungeon. My my stomach. And then straight out the port launch bay. My my butt facing to the left. But still, there's a chance it could freaking live. This was a situation that could not be solved with rippling biceps. But with rippling brain seps. That means smarts. I hit the books! I went back to my teachings, Lord of the Rings. When Master Gandalf was on that tower, a moth flew by. He grabs it, right, to eat it. I think it, I think he wanted to eat it. But then they hit it off. They became amazing friends. They started sharing secrets, and then it flew off to get help. Emphasis on the flying off. I decided to give it a shot and give the moth a secret of mine. I whispered to him the only secret I knew at that time. I hate moths. His antennae then graze the roof of my mouth. I would like to think that they were antennae and not poisonous little moth daggers prodding up into my gums. My instant reaction was to extend my tongue out like a launch pad 
And then it, and then it flew off. Deeper down into my throat. I, just, I immediately spit that thing out and did a roundhouse kick. Yeah, completely fabricated that. I didn't do the roundhouse kick. I made that crap up. So the lesson of the day is moths could have concealed daggers on them. Poisonous, tiny toothpick daggers. <laughs>